Lisa. And I'm Crystal. And we're your team programmers at Greenville County Library System. Today we are going to do Teen Cuisine Microwave Mania. We are going to do a couple of recipes from Jennifer Lee's book, Five Minute Mug Meals. We're going to do a pizza and, because it's summer, a strawberry cream mug cake. So, welcome, welcome to lunch. lunch. So in her book, Jennifer Lee wants you to use an oversized mug, just like this one. This one is a 20 ounce mug and it has a lot of stuff. And she wants you to do that because that way if you have a cute little whisk like I do, you can whisk everything and it all gets mixed together really well. But you can use a normal size mug like this. The only thing is you've got to make real sure that when you mix your ingredients, you get everything up and all of your flour and everything mixed together. But today we're going to start in this mug and we are going to put in four tablespoons of flour. So in anything that's baking, you need to one, wash your hands really well before you start, and then you need to make sure that your ingredients, all of your ingredients are precisely measured. So we are going to put in four tablespoons of flour. And that's two. You see I'm leveling it off. Three and four. So that is four tablespoons of flour. Now we are going to add to that a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, which is going to make it all react and bubble up so you don't have a piece of lead that you're trying to eat. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, because this is a pizza after all. So Crystal's going to mix all of that together. And then we are going to add in four tablespoons of milk, fat-free milk, and a half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And now she's going to make sure that it's all mixed together really well. I'll show you when it's all done. Let's see. Getting some dough. Making a nice batter. And then we get to add the fun stuff. First, we're going to add a tablespoon of mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. and then our favorite. Pepperonis. The recipe calls for just seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll go ahead and mix that all up. And you can do it with a whisk or, or with a spoon. spoon. I might recommend the spoon just because the little pepperonis get stuck in the whisk. But other than that, and this now, is what you end with. The fun begins. We're going to microwave it now. All right. So our microwave is a 900 watt microwave. So the book will call for a different amount and then of time. And then you can add 15 seconds on each time. We've already found that the pizza works best with a minute 15. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it in there. All right, we're ready. Now, pizzas need something on top. And this one's pepperoni. So what I have here is some marinara sauce. Now I'm just going to put that right on top. I would show you, but uh, it would just pour off to the side and that wouldn't be a very good pizza. So I'll show you at the end. Big reveal. And then I'll add some more mozzarella. And you can change what kind of cheese you put on it, but mozzarella is classic. And then I'll throw a few more pepperonis on top, just for looks. All right, 
and then this is going to go back in for 15 more seconds. Now our pizza's all done, and it tastes really good, and we're ready for dessert. So now we're going to make our strawberry mug cake. So once more, four more tablespoons of flour. difficult when you get to the bottom. And four. So we have four tablespoons of flour and then to this we are going to add a tablespoon and a half of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder again, and even though the recipe doesn't call for it, we added a little bit of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon, because we found it really needed it, because if you didn't, it didn't really taste like much of anything, just kind of sweet. So I am mixing it just together like this. Crystal is cutting up a, one large strawberry, because you need nice strawberry pieces in here. So we've done the dry, dry ingredients, now we're going to add the wet. So we have two tablespoons of heavy cream and two tablespoons of fat-free milk. And I add just a little bit splash of vanilla. Now with, some, with this, I can't get the, uh, the whisk in it, so I'm going to use a fork and it's going to take just a second for me to get it really well mixed. I'm going to want to make sure I get all of the crevices and the cracks and I'm going to whisk it up really, really well and get it really well mixed together. So it's really, really well mixed together now. And I've made sure I've gotten it all out of the sides. And now Crystal is going to add in the strawberries. So when, <laughs> when you cut the strawberries, just be careful with the knife. I don't have knife skills, but we don't want you cutting yourself on a strawberry shortcake situation. And then I will go ahead and mix it all in. You want to make sure your strawberries are all in the batter and once it's cooked with this, the strawberries get really, really hot. So it's kind of like little lava bombs in the cake. So you're going to want to let the cake sit for a couple of minutes before you eat it. So now, we, once more, we know how long this is going to take and it's going to take about a minute and 35 seconds. All right, lunch is ready and dessert is served. This has been Team Cuisine microwave mania with greenville county library system show us your mug recipes at hashtag gcls teen cuisine